Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of personal voice in iOS 17, an accessibility feature. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a personal voice expert. Let's get started. In order to access personal voice, you'll need to be on iOS 17 and you'll need to have a newer iPhone. I tried setting up personal voice on an older iPhone 11 in iOS 17 and it did not work. So you will need a newer iPhone and to head over to personal voice, you'll need to find the settings app on your phone. You can press the button right here and access the settings app, or you can press the search icon right here on the home screen and search for settings. And then the last way you can find settings is if you come over here and type in settings right here and open up settings into the app library. Once you've accessed settings, you can scroll down to accessibility and find personal voice under the accessibility menu options. Personal voice allows you to save a copy of your voice and use AI to, uh, you know, re repeat your voice or speak using, you know, an artificial voice that sounds just like you and the need that you ever need to use that. And we'll demo that today. So you can scroll down here and under speech is where personal voice is located. So again, you'll need to head over to settings and then accessibility, which is right here under the settings menu and then right over to the speech section you'll find personal voice just like that and then you can tap on personal voice and you have the option to create a brand new personal voice right here in iOS 17. We'll review that in a second. Before let's check out these two options right here. This first option share across devices allows you to share with other devices that you are logged into the same iCloud account. So if you have an iPad or you have another iPhone or another device that's logged into the same iCloud account, you'll be able to share the voice that you create on this iPhone with that other iCloud account that's logged in on that device. You can also allow apps to request use. So in the case that you use something like a phone app or a, another application that can use personal voice, it can you can turn the setting on right here, then that app can request to use your personal voice and enable you to uh, you know access it right here in the accessibility settings. So before the app can use it or before we can access the personal voice itself, we'll need to create a personal voice. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll press this button right here, create a personal voice. It'll authenticate with Face ID and it provides the options here to create your personal voice. So we'll need to read 150 phrases out loud, which may take about 15 minutes. It can take anywhere from 15 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour to complete this successfully. It'll generate your voice and securely store it right on your iPhone and you can communicate with live speech. So type to speak using your personal voice using the device speaker or in FaceTime or the phone application or any assistive communication apps that have it enabled. So let's go ahead and continue this process and create our voice in iOS 17 using personal voice. So I can hit continue and it says get ready to record. Find a quiet place Record yourself in a room that has minimal echo and background noise. Speak naturally. Read aloud at a consistent volume as if you're having a conversation. Keep your device about 6 to 12 inches away. Take your time. After you read each phrase aloud, a new one appears. You can save and close your session at any time. So let's go ahead and hit the continue button. The important part here to remember is that you can save this recording and co complete it at any time. So if you don't have 15 straight minutes to record this or 30 straight minutes to sit here and record your voice, you can do it slowly at, a, you know, at your own pace, take your time, close the session and come back and complete it at a later date. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue and record our voice. So it says create a voice, give your voice a name. We'll go ahead, we've got Justin's personal voice one right here for the language, English, and the United States. And then we'll go ahead and hit continue. Check sound quality. Record the phrase shown below. iPhone will analyze sound quality when you're done. So it wants us to read out the phrase, I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. It's using the iPhone microphone and we'll go ahead and hit record and save that phrase. I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. 
And just like that is completed, it gives us a little caution warning with high background noise. Try to find a quieter location. Current sound level or current sound levels are high and may impact personal voice quality. We can give it a listen. And it starts playing there. We can turn up the volume. I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. So we have the option to move to a different room or make it more quiet. Maybe, um, you know, depending on your surroundings, where you're at, you'll be able to determine whether you want to be in a high background noise place. It may affect the sound quality of the personal voice that's created, but I'm in a um, room. It's pretty quiet. I'm going to stay here and we'll go ahead and hit continue. Now I've got 150 phrases to read, and of course this can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 to an hour, however long it takes here. So we'll go out and read these phrases, and what it will do is it will make a copy of our voice that we'll later be able to use when speaking through text. So we'll be able to write something down over text, and it will generate the voice that sounds like us based off how we say everything, all of these different phrases right here. So let's go ahead and start recording these phrases and we'll go ahead and get, you know, our personal voice created. All right, let's go ahead and record phrase number one. When we were younger, we found many turtles near the pond. All right, I checked that off. Moving to the next phrase. Can she finish the book in time? Both countries are members of the union. Does any of this help? Branson became a city in 1912 and has a mayor council form of government. I know you play golf, but have you ever tried baseball? Today's sponsor is L Gear's three in one wireless charger that lets you charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone. All at once, just like that. Has a nice sleek design for your desk or your nightstand, and it charges all three of your devices, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at the same time. Click the link in the description to purchase your 3-in-1 L Gear charger, and you can get it set up charging your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and your iPhone all at the same time, just like that. And it sits really nicely on your desk or your nightstand. You can get it in a black version or white version. And it's really cool. You just slide on your Apple Watch just like that. You put your, your AirPods at the very bottom and your phone wirelessly attaches just like that using MagSafe technology. And it looks super sleek and really nice on your nightstand. So check it out. Use the link in the description to get your 3-in-1 wireless charger today from L Gear. I'm done recording. Congratulations, you've successfully finished recording all the phrases and are ready to create your personal voice. So now I can go ahead, hit the continue button and the iPhone can work its magic. The personal voice here is asking us to send notifications so it can let us know when it's successfully completed it. So I'll go ahead, hit allow. And there are a few steps here in order for us to prepare for our personal voice. So one is going to be created personally and securely right on the iPhone, and it may need to complete overnight. So you'll want to charge and lock your phone, make sure that the iPhone is plugged up and has plenty of juice in order to process all of this data behind the scenes and in the background. And then when it's ready, you'll receive a notification on your iPhone and you can track the progress and settings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the OK button and I can see here Justin's personal voice one is creating, it's preparing, it's at 0% and I'll need to charge my iPhone to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up on the charger and once it hits 100, we'll be right back and we'll demo the personal voice in real time. It takes a lot of processing power to create your personal voice. So Apple requires you to plug up your iPhone and lock your iPhone in order for the personal voice to be created. You cannot use your iPhone at the same time that the personal voice is being created because it uses a lot of processing power. So for me, this process had to happen overnight. I had to plug up my iPhone, lock my iPhone, so it's charging and the screen is turned off. And then in the background, it creates the personal voice for us. And then of course, when I wake up the next day, I get a notification that says the personal voice has been created successfully. So if I unlock this phone here and scroll up, I can see right here, personal voice, your personal voice is ready. 
and go ahead and tap on that and zoom in a little bit so you all can see that. So overnight, this personal voice was created, but it only happened because the iPhone was locked and charging at the same time. After you create your personal voice and you read all the prompts, it will not go ahead and create the personal voice itself unless the phone is plugged up and it's charging and it's locked at the same time. So those two conditions must be met in order for your personal voice to be created. So now we can go ahead, unlock this phone, tap on the personal voice, and it takes us right to the accessibility settings where we can check out our personal voice and get started under speech here. So personal voice, I can tap on it and I can see here Justin's personal voice number one created. I can tap on it and unlock it. I can export those voice recordings if I wanna share the voice recordings you use to create this personal voice. And then I can go back here. We enabled at the very beginning our share across devices and allow apps to request use. So if we shared across devices, this means any other iCloud account that we log into on our device, whether it's another iPhone or another iPad, it will be able to use this personal voice. And then with allow apps to request use, if an app has developed an API using personal voice and speech um, you know, technologies, it'll be able to use your personal voice inside of that app. This would be great for voice apps that allow you to send voice messages or uh, have phone calls. So another way to use your personal voice is through live speech, which is built into every iPhone here. So it's right under speech. We can tap on live speech and we can turn it on to enable live speech. Now, in order to use live speech, you'll need to triple click the side button right here on your phone. So the side button is the same as the power button. You just press that three times, one, two, three, and live speech pops open and you can start speaking. But right now for live speech, the voice is set for um, Samantha. We're going to tap on the voice right here and change it to personal voice and then tap on Justin's personal voice one. Hello, my name is Justin's personal voice one. So you can hear it's using, you know, an automated voice, but it sounds similar to my voice. And now I can go back to the very beginning here. I've selected my personal voice to be used when I'm using live speech. So I can come in here now, I can tap the side button three times, this button right here, one, two, three, and live speech pops open. And I can say hi and send. Hi. And it uses my own personal voice that I created right here in this video. I can come over another cool part about live voices is, you know, is this is designed for if you're not able to use your own voice. So you can use the computer voice to speak for you. And if you have very popular phrases that you say every morning or every day, you can add them into the settings right over here under live speech. You can go to favorite phrases, then add as many settings here or as many phrases as you'd like just by pressing the plus button. And I can come here and say, when is the game? And then I can come over here and correct my spelling and then hit save. So now I've added a brand new phrase. I've got a few phrases in here. I can triple click the side button again to bring up live speech. And now I can tap on phrases and then it has all of my favorite phrases here that I say often. And all I have to do is just tap on one. What, what is the game? I can come up and tap on? Yes. No. Good morning. It's sleepy time. So this is one really neat way to interact with live speech and use your personal voice that you create on your iPhone. And of course this is designed so if you, you know, you can't use your voice, maybe you have a cold or you can't talk or you lose your voice, you're able to come in here and use live speech on your iPhone and it sounds very similar to you, but of course it's using AI to create, you know, an artificial voice that sounds and is pretty much cloned based off all the speech prompts that you provide. And of course we can come in here and use live live voice and our personal voice to close out this video because this has been a complete beginner's guide on live speech in addition with personal voice in iOS 17 and all I have to do is hand it over to the live speech section using my voice to close out the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite personal voice is in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to find out when we publish our next video.
And there we go. So this has been a complete beginner's guide on live speech and personal voice in iOS 17. We hope you enjoyed this video. You can access it now in iOS 17 and create your voice, wait overnight for that process to create successfully, and then you can go turn on live speech. And then later this year, when a lot of apps embed live speech and all of these APIs for voice, you'll be able to use your personal voice inside of other apps in the App Store. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of live speech and personal voice in iOS 17. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.